Hey guys, personal safety is what we're talking about today in travel with regard to travel. Personal safety and accountability is always having an entrance and an exit plan, whether it's at home, at the airport, in a restaurant, a foreign country, doesn't matter. You gotta have an in, you gotta have an out. And there are things you can do with travel that will help you maintain personal safety despite the restrictions that are placed on you by your travel bag, like TSA and other places that kind of strip you of tools. So start with before you travel. The first step in protecting yourself or your loved ones at home or on the road is having a plan. And maybe that looks like carrying a firearm for you or an edge weapon or being proficient in combatives, which is just fighting, all while being able to remain calm, think, react, and communicate effectively and appropriately. Whatever tool you select, whatever tool you select, it's important that you identify that protective resource and that you train that thing consistently. If it's firearms, you may make sure you know how to shoot. If it is fighting, make sure you do it regularly. Put it in, put in the reps so it's a natural part of you, right? You don't want to just kind of hope you're going to figure this out on the day of. So next thing is packing. Let's pack smartly. Your carry-on ought to be something that, something with which you can move quickly. And a roller bag just, it isn't that. I mean, you can't. You need a backpack or a crossbody shoulder bag or both, really. That's what I use. And that works great for me. I throw the bat on. I've got my shoulder bag in front with my comms and my ID and my money. Your hands are free and you can run if you need to. Choose good shoes also. Bring a battery bank so that when you land, your phone is fully charged. Bring adapters for local outlets if you're going overseas. Now, I mentioned firearms, so let's talk about how to fly with one real quick. Uh, if I'm traveling domestically, I'm going to carry a firearm, a uh, concealed pistol, maybe a rifle, depending on what I'm doing for teaching a class. Obviously, I'll carry that. Whether I'm flying or I'm driving, though, I'm carrying a gun. If it's a flight, once I land, I collect my luggage and my gun box, and I go straight to the nearest bathroom stall. I load magazines, and then I leave the airport with a properly loaded weapon, concealed. Um, go to the garage, pick up my rental car, whatever, but I'm, I'm armed. And flying with a gun isn't as hard as you might think. You get a locked gun case and enough locks, and you pack it, right? A uh, gun box might have two lock holes. you got to get two locks. Can't have one. They'll ding you for it. Have all your ammo separated from the magazines and in the original boxes, no loaded mags. Each airline's got their own rules, but generally no loaded magazines and maybe not more than 11 pounds of ammo, maybe a total weight of not more than 50 pounds in the box itself, unless you want to pay an overweight fee. I also personally lock the bolt and the slides to the rear and the weapons in the open position so they can look at it and see it. it makes it faster for me. I'll also put any edge weapons I want to take in that gun box so everything is in one place once I land. Lastly, I put an air tag in my check bags and my gun box, whether it's a gun box or not. I just throw an air tag in there just so I can track my bags and know where they are at all times. Once you're packed, you take your check bags to the check bag check-in area. Um, they'll uh, the flight person will ask you, open it up. You'll open it. They'll get you to fill out a form declaring everything's unloaded, and then you'll lock the box. You'll keep the key. It goes to TSA. Hang out and wait for TSA to scan it. This time you take is going to work to your benefit because usually they'll come out and tell you it's good to go and you get on your flight. But take this extra step and then board your plane because you don't want to get where you're going and find out your bags didn't make it because there was something wrong with your gun box. They're going to give you luggage tags just like any other piece of check bags. Make sure you hang on to it. If you don't, you're going to have a hard time collecting your gear. Speaking of. You land on the other side. The gun box should be taken directly by luggage personnel to the lost luggage office. It should not come out on the conveyor belt. And this is safety to keep somebody from just walking off with your gun. So you go to the lost luggage office, you show them your ID, you show them your bag tag, and you collect your firearm. Now, this process is only for domestic travel. Don't, don't try this that I just described internationally or you're going to end up in trouble. If you're going internationally and taking a gun, maybe you're going on a safari hunt or something, who knows? That's a separate form. It's a CBP. That's Charlie Bravo Papa 4457 Customs Border Protection. I think. And that's just a form declaring your personal items. And they know now what you're taking overseas. And they'll make sure you come back with it and that you didn't take it over and sell it or give it away. So that's guns, all right? 